What the heck? Product placement. Alani New, please sponsor me. I'm just kidding. Not really. So today I wanted to create this video. Did you guys just see that spit? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually gonna be reasons why I didn't start YouTube earlier. If you are watching this and you're hesitant or you don't know where to start, you don't know how, you need some motivation, I hope this video finds you. And I also share with you guys some tips that I'm learning while I am on this platform. But overall, I hope I encourage you in some way. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, for starters, let's talk about why it took me so long to actually start. One, let the opinions of other people stop me from doing this. And it's not because I had backlash. It's not because I had comments on my previous social media platforms telling me like I suck or all this kind of stuff. It was more so me thinking in my head that other people really cared. I was my own worst enemy. I thought people would think negatively of me. They probably just didn't even care. You know what I mean? So when you think people are thinking about you, nine out of 10 times, they're not. This one I think holds a lot of people back from starting because they think that they need a camera, they think that they need a studio lights, they think that they need a ton of stuff to start when in reality you literally just need a phone. If it has a camera, use it. I will go into more detail a little bit later on in this video. I kept telling myself that I won't be able to post consistently because I'm in school and I also work. And so I thought, eh. The school is gonna hold me back. I'm not gonna be able to post as much as I'd like to if I decided to like start on a Christmas break. When I get home from work, I'm gonna be tired, blah, blah, blah. So like, I just put all these excuses in my head um, when in reality, I should have just like never thought of that. All right, so now that I talked to you about some of the things that held me back from starting, I wanna share with you guys some things that I've learned while on this platform, along with some tips that may be helpful for beginners or people that are thinking about starting a YouTube channel. And so I hope this helps. Let's get started. All right, number one, especially starting out on YouTube, I know that YouTubers feel that you should be posting as much as possible. I disagree with that so, so much, and I will explain why. All right, number one, you will run out of ideas. And I'm not saying this as like, you don't have access to resources to find different video ideas to film. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, yeah, you can go on YouTube and you can search a list of YouTube ideas, but like, is that really authentically going to translate on your channel well? Two, some things get in the way, life gets in the way. So if you're posting three out of seven days every single week, and you manage to do that for let's say two months straight, then something happens and then you don't post at all. Not only are you discouraged that you missed that chunk where I wasn't really posting at all, but secondly, you might feel very discouraged and just quit altogether. Three, it is supposed to be fun and not tiring. This is not a job Obviously this can be a job, but I'm just saying like, this is something that you're choosing to do and I just fit. So make it fun. And if it's not fun and it gets overwhelming, you like take a step back. Like don't be scared to like take steps back because I feel like the number one thing when it comes to even social media in general is you feel like you need to be posting consistently and that your followers will eventually just go away when you stop or when you take a little break. And it's just like, if those are your true followers and those are the people that you consider family, like why would you want the type of followers that will literally just unsubscribe from your channel because they haven't seen your face in a month. Like, I personally don't want that. That kind of goes along with it's okay to take a break when necessary and when you feel like you just need to recharge or reboot. So with all that said, I encourage you to find a posting schedule that will fit into your needs and to what you can do. All right, I think this is number four, but start with what you have. And I'm talking about like the equipment. You do not need to invest in a camera right off the bat if you have never even posted your first YouTube video. I encourage you to find your mom, your dad's iPhone. If you don't have an iPhone, just get into the rhythm of actually filming. Because I know personally for me, sometimes when I step in front of a camera, I'm like, wait, I don't even know what to say. Is this really what I wanna do? Before you start investing in all this equipment, start with the basics, start with just your iPhone, start with, uh. You don't even need to invest in a tripod if you seriously don't want to. Set your iPhone up against some books. And also for the editing platform, I still to this day use iMovie and there's a lot of um, actually really cool features, but I go on Canva and I actually like, I'll do like the typewriter font. So then on iMovie, if you click down under this like one little button, I'll insert it here. If you click green screen, the actual like Canva template will actually type out. I'll do a tutorial or something sometime later using iMovie and Canva, but yeah, start with the free stuff. All right, number five, I think this is, yeah, five. 
I recommend when you are doing a sit down video, whether that's a chit chat, get ready with me, whether that's an educational video, whether that is you just introducing yourself in front of the camera, you guys write up a script. And I'm not saying like word for word, obviously your personality will shine through, but I'm saying like a bullet list of what key points you wanna to touch on in your video. And also with a script, you just deliver better in my opinion. Like right now, my script is like completely trashed. I have brief notes that are in my Google Docs form right now, <laughs> but I can't even read it and I can't really understand it. And so like this whole video is not really going as planned, but I'm gonna to try to manage and get, get all the way to the end. Okay, so that goes into my next point. If you have an iPhone or if you have a computer, I suggest you open a Google Docs form or even your notes on your phone and write down YouTube ideas that come. I will be in my car, I'll be driving, and I'm like, oh my gosh, like that's a really good idea and I can't whip on my computer. But when I'm at a stop sign, when I'm at a stop sign, I will go in my notes, I will write it in. Or if I'm in the shower, like I will literally get out of the shower and I'll like write it in my phone. I know that's kind of weird, but I'm just saying you need to have those somewhere where you will not forget. So yeah, organization is key. So that is one tip that I'd really, really encourage you to like do. All right, next up, if you are using your iPhone, I suggest you airdrop all the footage that you've taken and put it onto your computer as soon as you can. Because I know for me, when I'm filming, I will probably film three vlogs back to back and then I will get confused on like, what's the day? What footage did I take? I just get really, really confused. So my brain works if I just shoot the footage, I put it all into my laptop in one space and then I create a folder. So like I'll say vlog January 10th and then I'll label it, I'll put all my stuff into that one and then you could obviously go into that folder. You could label it like B-roll or um starbucks or just something like that it's also very very helpful when it comes to organization this is my last point that i'm going to talk about but i encourage you to just start i don't remember what i was saying this is why you need a script this is why you need to write down all the things that you want to talk about because then if you don't you're left like me right now and i don't remember dang Dude, why am I having such a hard time remembering what I just said? Oh, this is fun. Try different things. You know, if you don't think that vlogs are your style, try it out anyway. If you don't think sit down videos are your style either, try it out. You never know until you try. Maybe you're like, oh my gosh, that actually went really, really well and I'm gonna do more of those. Cause when I started this channel, I was doing just mainly vlogs. I kind of want to, be more personal with you guys i want to get to know you guys and so i want to do more sit down like intimate like you know what i mean like these types of videos and i really really enjoy it at first i was like no probably not going to do any of the sit downs just more vlogs but i really do enjoy this with that said i hope you guys start and not be discouraged by the amount of followers followers will come and also one key thing is when you do your YouTube videos, you can actually clip them into shorts and start posting shorts. Or even if you're on TikTok already, just start posting the TikToks that you push out, put them on YouTube shorts. Also, always remember what you think may be boring may be very entertaining to someone else. So I encourage you to just start posting, start doing this and... I cannot wait to see people grow. If this helped you guys out in any way, please let me know in the comments below. As always, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Product placement, Alani New, please sponsor me. I'm gonna make a thumbnail. I need some lip gloss. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. All the boys keep stopping. They chase me up to school. Name that song. You could see these lights. As it was. You know I'm not the same. People that wear glasses, do you actually carry on glass cleaner? Because I don't. Okay, I look like a dude, so. All right. Welcome to Alexis Huss Trevino. Welcome to Alexis Lee Trevino's therapy session. As it was, you know I'm not 
this seam. Okay. Hi guys, my name just things that I want to talk about. Um, I can already tell this is going to be a long video. I literally look like a dude. Like this is Tim's, this is Tim's flannel. All right, anyway. <sighs> Hi guys, my name's Alexis. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Alexis. I just said that. 